and gents, I'm coming to do a belly shoe tutorial. I've not done a full tutorial in quite a while. And I'm doing this for the Scrimpies ladies. A while back I planned and then put together and sold a beautiful ballet shoe kit. And the ladies have all got their kits now. They've all been uh, gone quite a while and they're all starting to create from them. And uh, I just thought I, I would have a go myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate one of the ballet shoes and then go away and decorate the other one identical and come and show you how I'm going to display them because what I'm going to do is make a really lovely bow, a great big bow with loads of ribbons and all dangling down bits and then string the shoes from the bow. So we've got these beautiful shoes, they're awesome. Uh, anybody whose little girl goes to dance classes will know the brand. They are cats dance shoes, so they are genuine dance quality shoes with the full suede sole and they are what every little girl starts off ballet dancing in and uh, you know it brings back memories of when my own children did dancing and Alexia not so so long ago and they are the pink suede ones the other style that you sometimes get is like a buffed leather a, a dull leather or a, a yeah it's like a dull pink leather and um, those are the two general styles that you get but I just thought that the satin was just that little bit prettier obviously again if you know anything about dancing you get the little piece of elastic which is generally loose sometimes it's not even sewn on at all and what you do is you sew it to fit I'm not going to use the uh, I'm not going to use that actually I'm going to discard it I don't want it on if I decide I want it on I'll sew it back on later <laughs> and you can pull the little strings normally to make it sure it fits snugly around the child's foot but that's not necessary so I'm going to tie that in a knot just to make sure it doesn't come loose and I'm just going to leave that tucked inside like so they are quite soft and pliable are the shoes and uh, I'm going to have great fun decorating mine so I've no idea what I'm going to do but I don't want to overdo it when I put the kit together I don't have an awful lot of the parts left over what I put in the kit so I might be using different things because I buy things in special for the kits and once they're gone I don't always end up with some I'm going to use some of this really really pretty trim that actually comes from America uh, this one I had it sent by an American lady quite a while back and I'm going to start by just running that around I better make sure I've got enough to put it. yeah I've got plenty I'm just going to start by running it around I'm going to start in the centre here so that my join is in the centre because then I can cover it up with a flower or a bow <laughs> as you do so I'm going to just start by just gently gluing along that edge in there like so I'm cho I've chosen to use the rapid point today because it does have the smaller nozzle because it's a quite a delicate little project and um, we don't want to blob glow everywhere if we can help it so a little little burst although it's not very good not a terribly good glue gun this one there we go, we're off. So gently, a little bit at a time around there. And then run this pretty trim around. When you've got your trims on, it'll help sturdy up the shoe as well because they are quite pliable and quite soft because they are for children. You see some beautiful ones on Pinterest and they are adult ones with the blocks. You could have a look on eBay, try and pick some up second hand. They're quite expensive new. So really, it's not really for crafting. If anybody wants any of these shoes, I do have some for sale on my zibit. But as I say, this is mostly for the scrimpy ladies who like to buy their kits and then hoard them, which is no good. You've got to, you've got to get amused, ladies. Get creating and making pretty things. We've got Christmas coming up. You might have a special granddaughter or a little girl in your life that this would be pretty for. 
So I'm just going to continue around there. As I say, I will come back in probably two parts to this tutorial because I don't like them to go on too long. I'm just going to snip that. The scissors are somewhat blunt and I'm just going to make sure that that edge joins nicely. Just be careful you don't get too much hot glue where you don't want it on the satin because it will mark because they are satin. So you do have to be a little bit careful. But end of day, if you, if you get a mark on it, just put some more lace on it and cover it up. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. That's firming that up nicely. Now one other step that I'm just going to take, I'm just going to trim that off. I want it to be really, really nice. One other step I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff uh, the toes. Just to give it them toes a bit of definition and a bit of firmness because they are a soft shoe. So I've just got some toy stuff in here. I'm just shredding it as small as I can. Otherwise, if you don't shred it small, you'll end up with a bit of a lumpy, bit of a lumpy look, which is not a pretty sight, is it? We don't want that. We don't want lumpy. So and that's in there like so. And I think what I will do is, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put around the inside of my shoe yet. Let me see. Right, I think I'll just use a small piece of satin just to conceal that stuffing for now because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on the inside, whether I'm going to decorate it or leave it plain sort of. I'm not sure. So I'm just taking a small square of satin and I'm just tucking it, tucking the stuffing just to conceal it. I mean, you don't even have to use stuffing. You could use tissue paper if you wanted. You'd get the same. You're just padding that toe out ever so slightly. So I'm just going to put a tiny dab of glue up there for it to hold on to that satin slightly just to help it stay in place a bit. And a tiny bit there. Just helps it all keep in place till I decide what I'm doing with the inside of my shoe. Hot glue is, you know, little and often on, on delicate projects, if you can. There we go, that'll do for now. Just holds it in place. Now I need to decide what I'm going to do on my little shoe. Let me have a look. I don't think I'm going to put an awful lot on it, to be honest. I think I'm going to concentrate on a really nice flower for the front and then keep these quite plain so that you can see the beautiful pink satin and then really go to town on the bow um, that holds, you know, that I'm going to display them on. I know I did get some wedding appliques out. Oh, here we are. Let me just see... Put that in there just on the inside yeah i think i will do that so i'm just going to put some wedding appliques just on the inside sole i did see um theo theodora who's one of my lovely ladies and she put a, a part of a, a lace on the inside of the sole of hers it was a gold lace and it looks absolutely stunning I do still have a little bit of that gold lace. I'll have to see if I can remember where I bought it and buy some more because it reminded me how pretty it was and I had it quite a while ago. There we go. If you, if you can get your lace to hold without even gluing it, then just leave it as it is. There's no point over gluing things. It's not necessary. Tiny, tiny bits just to tack it on and it'll hold. Go. There we go. You don't even have to cover the sole of the shoe if you don't want the inside bit. You don't have to. And then I think I'm going to run around the inside lip of the shoe with this lace if it's not too big. Just because I'm not decorating the outer bit, I'll make a bit more of a fuss of the inner bit perhaps if it's not too large. 
which I think it actually might be. I don't really want that protruding. It's a bit large, is that? What else have I got? Let me see. What else have I got? Oh, blimey. Got these little bows. Mm, bit boring. Not too keen on that. What else have I got? That's really pretty. Let's have some of this one over here. Try some of this. Let's have a look, see if this fits. So I don't want a, an overbearing lace on it because I don't want it to... No, I don't really like that either. <laughs> don't like it. Let me see. Let me think. This is just the thing, you see. I tend to change my mind. Oh, that's pretty. We'll tack that one in. That's a pretty lace. So this is just a really tiny flower lace. So I'm going to put the bottom of it on the flush to the sole of the shoe and then just tack at the back of these little flower heads. Oh, and then just attach it all the way around. I'll do that and then I'll come back for the next stage. Okay ladies, right, I've had a bit of a faff about <laughs> off camera. Um, this is not a project that, uh, you know, is going to be able to get finished in 10, 20 minutes on film. So I'm going to stop and start and stop and start and I might do it in two parts. So I'm just going to show you what I've done if the dogs will shut up barking <laughs> outside. So I've put the bridal pleque on the inside. That way. <laughs> and then I've run the little trim and on the flowers of the little trim inside I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet whether I'm going to fill this shoe with them I, I, I've had an idea to fill it with flowers I don't know but either way I've added some little diamante little gems on the inside and I've got that from this trim here which is an awesome trim and what you can do is as well as using it as a full trim is you can quite easily slide the individual gems off of it to use so that's why it's a good trim now this ribbon i did put in the kit that i sold to the ladies and um, i had just the off cuts left over so what i've done is i've made a little flower out of it and i'm going to attach it to the front of my shoe I'm just going to add some hot glue. Oh, I put some detail on the sole as well while I was off camera. I'll just show you that in a second. I'll just put this flower on first. So, I've got this lovely ruffled flower now, which I'm just attaching as central as I can. And it's nice and nicely gathered, so there's plenty of dimension to it. Uh, one other thing that I did do as a bit of a added touch, I don't know if you can see it glittering, but I did add a rainbow rhinestone crystal all the way around this suede sole here, just to add that little bit of extra something, because I'm not going to cover over the satin, I've decided to leave it as it is. Just thought if they're hanging, you know, that little bit of glitter might just... And we've all got rhinestone trim in our stash, just if you're going to do it, very very i'd put it up the back there as well just in a line on the back there if you're going to use it just go very very carefully very slowly make sure you've not got any kids or dogs yapping in your ear at all very slowly and very carefully run a very thin bead of line a uh, bead of glue along the outer edge of the sole and then gently just tap your rhinestone trim into it. Don't push it. I shall end up with glue on your fingers. You'll get it on your shoe. Just very, very gently, a little bit at a time. Okay, all the way around and you should get a nice finish. So that's what I've done. So what I'm going to do now is decide what I'm going to do. I think I might just very simple, try and keep it as simple as I can. I don't know whether I want to add one of these bows though. And as I say, I will go and decorate the other shoe exactly the same. Yes, I'm going to add this little bow. I've got this little bow lace here that I had in. I can't remember when. I need to get some more. It's quite pretty and I like it. 
uh, which is the right way, I don't think it matters on this one. I'm just going to add a tiny spot of glue and I'm going to add this little bow to the centre of my little rosette, a flower rosette that I've sewn. Just used a running stitch. And then I've got these tiny little, these are the smaller ones, the smaller size blings. Um, I'm going to attach that to the centre here. You can just see. And I'll just attach that to the centre. Like so. It just finishes that off nicely. I think that's enough for the front. I don't think it needs any more than that. You could add um, seam binding or curling down, um, which I might do later on. I'm not sure. Not sure. I don't know if I've got any white seam binding left. So that's that bit decorated. Now I've got some bows. Um, very, very simply, going to layer it up with a little tiny rosebud. Nothing complicated. Anybody can do it. Just trying to watch what I'm doing and not burn myself because my eyes are very, very bad. I'm actually due to pick up new glasses next week so then I'll be able to see. And I'm absolutely mortified. I'm having to have very focals because according to the optician, um, my eyes are that bad now. Uh, that I need, I would, I would need about three different pairs of glasses for all the different things that I do. So I'm having very focals. I was absolutely mortified. I was like, no, isn't that what like really old people wear? She went, no, I think you're thinking of um, bifocals, Amanda. So, yeah. So I'm just going to attach this to the back of here, like so, just to finish that off. And again, if you wanted to go that little bit extra, you could add extra ribbons or seam binding. That would look really, pre really pretty. I don't know if I've got any. Can't think got any seam binding I don't think I've got anywhere I don't think I've got the appropriate colour anyway but that looks really pretty on the back of there and you can still see the rhinestones look and uh, I think that's really really pretty so there we go now do I want to decorate the inside of that with flowers or don't I do you know what I think I might just put a few in <laughs> Just a couple. I think that's turning out really, really pretty. I want to keep it simple because I've got to go and do the other shoe the same. So I don't want to overcomplicate things. I think I might just... Let's have a... Have a see. I might just put a couple of flowers. I don't know if it'll spoil it. I can't decide. I can't decide whether to put... Some flowers on it or not. I might leave it as it is. I might just leave it as it is, you know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to add those there. Just one, just one little flower to each side. Because these are really pretty, these ones. They've got feathers in them. I love them, they're gorgeous. Just one. Just one little feather. As I say, I don't want to add loads of stuff. I want it to be quite simple. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Just gives it a little bit of feather, doesn't it? Hold that while it sticks and I'll put one at the other side. Because we have to have things symmetrical. <laughs> if I do something on the right, I have to do the same on the left. It's just how I am, fortunately. So let's have a look. I want it about there, do we? I want that little feather showing. Oh, that's really pretty. I might actually add just another one down there. I love these. I need to get some more of these for myself. I'm loving them. Yeah. Just one more little, and then I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I'll end up spoiling it. 
Yeah, oh, that's pretty. Oh, do you know what? I might just do that. Oh, I don't know if I want to do it all the way around. I can't do it all the way around front because I've only got one bunch and I've got two shoes. So that's put paid to that idea. For the other shoe which leaves me with one two three four um, would it be too much yes it would it'll spoil it i'm not going to add any more right so that is the first shoe completed i'll just show you it from all angles and that's as much as i'm doing to it because i think it's really really nice to just keep it Really, really simple so you can see the shoe properly and all of the satin and the shape and this lovely sole so you can tell that it is actually a ballet shoe. So I'm going to come back in part two and I will show you how I make, I will have completed the other shoe and I'm going to show you how I make the big bow that I'm going to hang them from. Okay, I hope you can see that. <laughs> turning it all around so you can have a right good look i think that's really really pretty and i'm happy with that so thanks for watching uh watch out for part two bye for now